No, I'm trying to vlog and be a good YouTube person. We're going downtown today to pick up my bag that I bought and to get one of my mom's Christmas presents from my dad. I don't think she'll watch this, so I can say that. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have coffee. I'm wearing new PJs that I got from Nasty Gal. I'm so pale. Here, I'll show you guys. Um, this is my new camera. It's a little baby. It was only $250. I'll try to link it. Not sure if this tripod thingy actually works for this, but we're trying it. Oh, good morning. Good morning, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to vlog for the first time today and this week. So hopefully this doesn't just end up getting deleted. trying to multitask right now because I want to shoot a look since we're going to be out and about and I need to shoot this jacket for a campaign with BCBG Generation. So I thought I would style it with my ribcage flare Levi's, this chunky, what brand is this? LPA sweater from Revolve, a beanie, and then these chunky boots because then when I pick up my bag, I think that this will be a really cute outfit. So stay tuned for that on. This is a really random clip into this video. My first time, I'm so awkward. But I started using Laura Mercier foundation. I forget the exact name, but I'll link it. And it's amazing, seriously obsessed. showing Matt's outfit. Wait, look at me. Because this is my sweatshirt that I got from Urban, but I got a 2XL so we could share it because I'm nice. I'm gonna wear it as a dress, but. Okay, we get it, you're super cool. Mm -hmm. Black jeans, what shoes are you wearing? Dad New Balances, love to see it. Also our apartment is disgusting because we didn't clean after dinner. Yep.
we just we went to Prada and then another store to get my mom's Christmas present and now we are taking the train back to Lakeview which is where we live I think it's fine like is big enough and we got Cheesecake Factory for lunch oh I know she won't watch it um, we got Cheesecake Factory for lunch because I love it and now we're taking the train I already said that see I'm so bad at this <laughs> everybody's been looking at me all day like what is that girl doing with the camera? I think it's so funny. We just got home and I changed into some comfies. I'm wearing these sweatpants from Urban Outfitters. They're actually men's and I got size extra small and then one of their vintage tie-dye crewnecks. I have this in another color, but I wear it all the time. So I wanted to get another color. And then I just, I always wear this necklace. Pretty much like you guys always ask me about my jewelry. I always wear this necklace, this ring, and sorry, this is probably really annoying. And this bracelet. Also got some packages I was gonna unbox for you guys. Hopefully I don't have a double chin in this. But I wanted to unbox two packages because they're two of my favorite brands. Amber Seats is one of my favorite jewelry brands. And their stuff is such good quality, which is why I love it. Gus, don't, don't mess this up, please. So they sent this clip, which I have in ivory, and I wear it all the time. It's just the perfect size. It holds all my hair well. The next thing... Matt's on the couch judging me. <coughs> just kidding. The next thing is these stunning pearl earrings like these will be so cute layered I'll get one out for you guys see I'm not lying when I say that Gus has to be involved in every single unboxing I do or every single packaging of, I don't know he loves packaging he loves helping me with Poshmark too these are the earrings and they're so cute and then they wrapped it all cute. One of the things I'm not gonna show, so... Oh, this is the thing I'm gonna show. I got this choker. Well, it's like, not really a choker, but it reminded me of the Dior necklace that I posted about like back in September that I wanted, um, but it's a lot more affordable. It's actually on sale on their website right now, um, but I just think it'll be, okay, excuse you, this is not the Gus show. Um, I just think it'll be really pretty. I'm not gonna put it on right now, but I also have a discount code, Brianna25 will get you 25% off. You can't use it on sale items, but the other items I showed, you can. So this, this guy's already on sale but I'm obsessed. So this is like a whole outfit. I'm not gonna show all of it because I'll keep it a little bit of a surprise, but this, and it like cinches. This is probably the worst item to show because it doesn't look as cute, but it's like a fishnet top. And, or oh, that was a skirt, not a top. And then this top, matching top, and it says, know, it just says I'm here. Yeah. This is the matching top, but I'm really excited to style this. And then I got the like coordinating bikini. So, wait, does this even match? The heck? This does not match. Yes. Come here. Oh, my baby. Don't fight. He's purring, but I think he's mad. I love you. I love you. 
gonna show you guys my new bag probably in the most awkward spot just like on my floor right in front of my balcony but um yeah i'm gonna show you her and i was expecting this to be a white bag but i guess they changed their bags from the 2000s so I think this originally came out in 2005 um, but I love that it has okay I love that it has the crossbody and it says Prada this little guy is adorable like for credit cards and stuff and then the actual bag itself is perfect size for me I'm not really a big bag girl so I like little bags and then my favorite thing, I was trying to decide between the shoulder and the crossbody, but I ended up doing this one because I like that the crossbody is a little more edgy and can be still worn as a shoulder, like this. Um, you can also take the chain off and wear it as a crossbody that way, but I kind of just like it like this. And love this little tag. It says Prada Re-Edition 2005 but she's so cute, I'm obsessed. And I don't think it's online yet still. I had to call my Prada store to find it and then she ordered it for me and then it came to the store. But what else, what other info do you guys need to know? Um, it was 11.50, so it ended up being like 1200 with tax for any of those wondering. Um, the shoulder bag that I originally wanted was only $7.25, so yeah, a little more expensive, but I thought it was worth it because I just love the crossbody strap so much. And I'll show you her on my body also. And then this is what it looks like. Matt's chilling. You can't really see, but... Yeah, she's stunned. We love her. And it's super cute like this too. Obviously not with the crossbody, but she's perfect. I am walking to my friend Danica's house right now because she lives like a mile from me and she has the day off. Um, so I'm just gonna work from there today and hang out. Um, got these Ugg earmuffs from Urban Outfitters and they are literally the best thing I've ever gotten because my ears always get so cold when I walk um, but my walk is really pretty too oh hello <laughs> we are hungry so we're gonna go get bagels bagels, bagel sandwiches to be exact Ooh, and it's sunny. freezing. It was sunny earlier, now it's cloudy. Yeah, what the heck? Is it supposed to rain? Snow? Wait, look how cute it is. Cute homes. Just stalking all the dogs <laughs> in the windows. <laughs> Truly living our best lives. Oh! This bagel has, what does it have on it again? Um, turkey, cheese, lettuce, mayo, mustard, and nacho cheese Doritos. Amazing. And it's so good. And we're watching the cheesiest Christmas movie ever. Mm -hmm. So basically we're just having a day. Walking to the post office before my hair appointment. Go to the post office so much. Actually Matt usually goes for me. And I'm making him go with me because I'm a child. And walking pickles, multitasking. But I will take you guys along during my hair appointment so you can know exactly what I get done. I forgot to show you guys what I'm wearing today. This hoodie is from Aritzia, Nasty Gal Blazer, Levi's, um, Air Force Ones by 112s. 
and new bag. But I might need some help from you. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're doing foils today, which I usually don't do, but I just wanted to lighten up my hair overall a little bit today, I guess. And then, what else did we do last time? We shadowed your root a little bit last time to create a more like deeper effect up there and prevent some outgrowth that you had. Yes, key, very key. And then <laughs> Amanda will do my cut after we color, so. Always the least flattering angle. <laughs> what do we do with the bowl again? We are toning your hair. So, what, well, first I'm going to blend the highlights that I just put into your previous color. Just so you can't tell where they're coming from, really. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow out of your hair and make it a little bit more sticky on your eyes. Perfect. This is my favorite part about getting my hair done. I am about to walk out the door to meet my friend Demi for coffee. I'll put her Instagram handle here. She's like one of the first girls I hung out with when I moved to Chicago and we've been following each other for literally ever, like five years we think, but we're unsure. But it's just weird that we're able to like hang out and stuff now, I love it. Um, we're gonna shoot like one look. I'm just wearing like a comfy outfit and just like work at a coffee shop so not like super interesting also disclaimer i should have said this at the beginning of the week but honestly i feel really boring but this week especially i feel like i've been doing a lot like usually i don't do this much or like leave my apartment this much so i just think it's funny that like yes this is a week in my life but it's also like more interesting than it normally is for sure so, yep. Hi! Hi. <laughs> we're Honestly, taking photos. We just, we were... oh, you can go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome um, to a freezing. day in the life. It is freezing and I don't have to Also, on we're trying to take Let's pictures. see the fit. Oh. Let's see the fit. Oh, no back in 30 something degree weather. She's a thriving. Chicago girl now, <laughs> officially. Um, I want to like set this up so that I can see us taking pics. we just finished shooting i did just one look demi did two she's a better vlogger than like me a hot mess. she has one bag so many bags guys. just a few bags um and we're going back to the same coffee shop that we've been at these people are probably going to be like can you just leave please um and we're just going to work edit that's pretty much it <laughs> I literally probably look like a crackhead right now, but I'm just working from home today, like every day. Um, but I'm doing some graphic design stuff right now. I really don't do that much graphic design anymore. I'm not sure if most of you realize this, but my full-time job and most of my energy goes into Instagram these days. Um, but I still do some graphic design projects. Right now I'm working on a little collage for a boutique that I've worked with forever. I started working for her in high school and then it just evolved as I learned how to do new things. I was doing like her social media and Instagram for the past two years, but I just um, 
decided that I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. So I'm just doing graphic design when she needs it every once in a while. So that's pretty much my only consistent graphic design client that I have at the moment. And it'll probably stay like that, honestly, through 2020, um, unless things with Instagram like drastically change. Like, I love that I have the option to do graphic design, but I also love that I don't have to do it right now. Um, I just got a little burned out, I think. So just trying to make it fun again for myself, I guess. But yep, this little collage is just going to be for the Facebook cover. So right now I'm just laying on the couch. I am going to finish up graphic design that I just showed you guys. I'm gonna do my accounting for November. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Basically, I just, um, I have a spreadsheet where I keep all of my income and then all of my expenses, just so it's all organized and that makes it a lot easier to get approved for things. That's how I got approved for our apartment by showing them my profit and loss statements or your expenses versus your income. Um, and then I'm just gonna catch up on emails. I have to plan the Instagram for the boutique that I worked for that I mentioned um, earlier. So I'll have to do that for the next two weeks because I'll be out of town. I go to Arizona on Sunday and then I go to LA on Thursday. So super excited for those trips. And then what else do I have to do? Oh, I'm gonna plan all of my Arizona outfits. So I'll show you guys that process probably going to try to shoot like 20 looks while I'm there just so I don't have to shoot much the rest of December because it's so cold here. Pretty sure while I'm gone it's going to be like 15 degrees one day. Like that's the high. Why do I live here? Showing you guys the setup. Had to make <laughs> the floor of our living room look like our bed because there's horrible lighting in our bedroom right now. The things we do for mood picks and flat lays. Gus, step away from the Prada. Okay, stop biting me. Oh my god, you're evil. Proof that he is a psycho. What? No. Ow! Making some soup for dinner. Was gonna vlog the recipe, but then I forgot. So, but it's really good. I've made it before. It is a spicy Italian sausage soup. It has zucchini, all the normal soup stuff, like celery, onion, carrots, and then like broth and shit too. That was a horrible description of this recipe, but it's so yummy. Wearing the same outfit as yesterday because that is just my life. I usually will just be in the same hoodie for like four days at a time. Um, I never planned my Arizona outfits yesterday and I feel like I've been really bad at actually showing you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I just haven't really been that interesting. So I'm going to plan my outfits. I just posted about a beauty giveaway on Instagram. This will probably, this vlog will probably go live on Sunday. So you guys will still be able to enter. So make sure you go enter. It's really easy. All you have to do is post a screenshot of your favorite part of my feed and tag me and then comment on my most recent photo telling me that you entered and it's a bunch of really good stuff. I'll actually show you guys the bag that I'm giving away. Well, it's not like a bag giveaway. It's a bag of beauty products, but this thing is so heavy and there's so much good stuff in it. So stay tuned. Just made the bed. That is like a necessary part of my daily routine and Gus is so sleepy because he was meowing all night. What a hard life you have for those years. Okay, still here trying to plan my outfits. Still look like a lionfish, Matt is telling me. I'll try to insert a photo so you guys can see what he's talking about. 
haven't showered, about to shower, but I wanted to show you guys the breakdown of some of my outfits. Um, so you get a sneak peek of everything I'm shooting this week with Diana. Um, I try to always group things by color and how I think they're going to look in my grid just because I think that helps me and keeps me more organized. So here's what I have in mind. I'm thinking I will do a neutral tan off-white olive section to fade out of my current grid. So with some like black mixed in probably. This might have to be like a black and white cover image, but it's a really cute sweater set from For Love and Lemons. And then I'm going to fade from that into black and white with neutrals. I have a few outfits here that I'm going to be shooting. From that, I'm thinking black, white, and silver. I randomly have a lot of silver outfits. This is BCBG and then these are for Love and Lemons. And then from the silver, I want to do a little pink, red, and white section of the grid. So that's sort of how I plan my outfits and how they're gonna go on my grid. Um, obviously sometimes things get swapped around because of posting dates and campaigns, but in a perfect world, that is how I would sort of plan out everything. But I'm sure once I get to Arizona and Deanna and I have a little styling session, um, things will change and I might switch some things up, but that's pretty much how it is. And then I'll have like other things I'll pack are like comfies and jeans and I have all of my shoes laid out. They're weirdly all black shoes. A pair of sandals, new Doc Martens the ASOS boots, ASOS boots, however you say it, these tall nasty gal boots, nasty gal booties, and then I'm getting another pair of 112s that I will also hope, hopefully they come in time and I'll bring those and I'm actually doing a giveaway with them. So stay tuned for that. They have the coolest sneakers. Um, but yeah, sorry for looking like a crackhead for the millionth time on this vlog. I think you guys have seen me with makeup like twice. Oh, but also side note, Matt and I are going to a house party tonight that my friend Danica invited us to. Like just, it's gonna be a ton of people that we probably don't really know. And I thought I would try to vlog some of that. So we'll see if that actually happens. I might get shy or too drunk. Hi buddy. Where are your legs and arms? This is what we like to call bread because he literally looks like a loaf of bread. I love him so much. All I'm gonna say is everyone pray for me tonight. Last time I drank White Claws, Matt and I fell asleep in our bed on top of our covers, fully clothed with our shoes still on. And we literally didn't wake up until like 6 a.m. Maybe seven. It might have been light outside. So tonight will be interesting. I literally never wear my glasses, so that's how you know I am ill right now. I have never been sicker. Actually, that's such a lie. I've definitely been more hungover than this, but I am dying. And I'm so sad because I forgot to take my camera last night and it would have been super entertaining because lots of events happened. One, I almost made Matt get into a fight because I was that drunk ho um, because some douchebag said something to us. I like walked out of the bathroom with Matt and he said something disgusting to us and I was pissed because I literally just took Matt in there because I didn't want to be alone and um, anyway. And then oh, I met the sweetest follower. Um, we're gonna get coffee when I'm back from LA and I can't wait for that. Her name's Annie. Um, and what else happened? And then we went to the bar and could not find our friends. Like literally could not find them anywhere. So then we just ended up leaving and we went somewhere called a Red Hot Ranch, um, kind of close to our apartment, and got hot dogs. Or actually, no, I think I got a burger, now that I'm thinking about it. But, yeah, 
there's a short summary. And I think today is gonna be the last day of the vlog. Or I don't think I know it's gonna be. I wasn't even gonna vlog today, but since I forgot to take my camera last night, and I wanted to tell you guys that story, so. Also, sorry, my voice is a literal frog. <laughs>